Happy Saturday, everybody. How are you? Thanks for coming. Hi, Diana, Miss Karen, Gina Gay. How are you, dear? Barbara, welcome. Deb, welcome. Thanks for coming, everyone. You know, I do appreciate it. I'm still sorting through stuff here. So we're just going to give it a couple of minutes. See if I can find myself on YouTube. Tomorrow we start at 10 a.m. It's weird. I have to leave my channel. Come on back. And we are live. Perfect. Hi, Pam. Welcome. Thanks for coming. And Bo being a girl. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Welcome, everyone. Kirsten, how are you? Thanks for coming. Yeah, um, so most of you, I hope, have received your packages. Um, people that paid delayed, uh, your packages are still here. I have four people that are still here. Um, hopefully, you got your sassy cat and you got your egg with a nice little free gift in there. My son and I got those packed up and out, I think. Hope, I think it was on Tuesday. So I hope you liked your little package and all that good stuff. Hey, Sherry. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, so we got some stuff. We do have some stuff. Unfortunately, um, a lot of it I did not really research, but that's okay. Oh, Diana, on that one package? No, we got to figure something out. Do me a favor, email me so I don't forget. Um, I will go, when I go to my post office, I will contact them directly. And uh, they'll help me. See? Now, this bracelet's 18, 14 karat gold and 925 and marked AV. All right, so maybe I'll hold that till tomorrow. Oh. So, I got this. Um, I'm going to give her to someone here. I think she's going to know who she is, but I couldn't leave her behind. Um, it looks like, looks like she may have popped out and maybe, well, I don't know because she doesn't look glued. Oh, the yeah, edge she does because it's upside down. It's upside down. But I think that this would be a nice piece to add to somebody's collection. So that's coming to you. You know who you are. I think everybody knows who you are. So I just grabbed that. So we're going to put her in a bag. I need a bin. See, I'm not ready. I am not ready. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Dennis. Okay. I need a marker and I need a bin. You guys keep, um, keep the ball rolling. I'll be right back. here okay all right i think we got it i think we got it okay almost there just need a marker okay hopefully it's a new one no let's just grab a new one So I hope you guys have Easter plans with your families. If not, you could join me and my friends here at 10 a.m. And then I think Sunday's on after that. Okay, so we, we got everything we need. 
All right, so let me just present my find. Um, I was not looking for this. It just happened to find me. Um, it's absolutely stunning. It is rock crystal. Hi, Em. Has some marks on the inside I didn't look up, but it's denim to diamonds. I mean, it was meant to be, and it was my perfect size. So, eh, there she is. Okay, let's just get this done. Thank you. I love it. Hi, baby bear. Welcome. All right, Diana, I, I'm going to pre present a couple of things I think you might like because I know it's late for you. But um, I think the only thing you really like, I'll hold those for tomorrow. Everyone's like, okay, we're here. Get moving. Okay, I just found this. First time I'm seeing it. This is a tiny. How could they put so much writing on something so small? It's really kind of mind boggling. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll say, uh, the things I think, hi, Maribel. The things I think that you're going to like, I'll hold for tomorrow morning if you're going to be available. I can't see what this says. Just give me a second. This says that I need to put it down and bring it back later. Okay. Hey, Lexi. Uh, thanks for coming. Okay, so these are Silpata 925 Silpata. These are um sterling silver i would say probably sponge coral on these uh one and three quarter inches they are signed on the inside silpata you know with their mark and like i said i do believe that these are sponge coral really pretty earrings. Um, I will do these at a starting bid of um, $30. Starting bid of 30 on the Silpata signed, what I suspect to be a sponge coral. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Yeah, uh, she was gonna put on something lighter, but I need something bright for my KJ. Oh my gosh, how are you? How's the family? Happy Easter. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. Okay, nobody's interested in the Silpata. We're gonna go ahead and move those away. Just kind of put them off to here to the side. I really can't see. I miss you too. But, you know, we had some really wonderful moments together, and that's always going to be with me, especially when your cat ran away and uh, Enzo died. We're linked for life, you and I. We're linked for life. So this is a sterling silver pendant. It is uh, double-sided, so reversible. It is one and a quarter inch. You have uh, blue on this side, which could be a soda light, and then you have black. Yeah, it's the moments in life, no doubt. I'm just going to check this to see if it's stone or an enamel. Yeah, I'm getting a stone reading on this. It's pretty because it's all cut out. Again, reversible. And I will do this one at, I don't see any marks or signatures. I will do this one at a starting bid of $18. 18 on the pendant. Yeah. Those were, we had some good times. No question about it. This is just one check and see if it's silver. It absolutely is. 
Yes, but that's okay because they are very, um, very welcoming, KJ. Very welcoming. Great group of people here. Nice community. Uh, I don't think anybody really came over. Hi, I'm Irma. Thank you. I don't think anybody really came over from Facebook. You know, Lisa did and a few other people. All right, Irma, we're going to go ahead and call this down for you for $18. Going once, going twice, fair warning, and sold. Thank you, KJ. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you, Irma. That is yours. Did you get your ring? You must have been wondering why I sent that ring. You realized that was something I didn't pack by mistake. And I just randomly sent it to you. I should have sent you an email, but I didn't. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dopey. All right. Let's do a ring. Let's do one of the big rings, one of the beautiful, gorgeous, um, they're signed, but if I'm not familiar with it, it's not going to matter. Okay, no, I don't know this signature, this mark, but it doesn't matter. Okay, this one is uh, Moonstone. And then it has topaz, amethyst, peridot. Just double checking myself, peridot. Yeah, it's a beauty. It's got nice color and flash. Hi, Linda, welcome. Nice color and flash. These are all testing. It does have a um, signature, um, you know, a mark. Oh, isn't that something? Yes. It's saying about a size nine. It's sitting on an exact nine. I can get that on my finger without a problem. I could bring him up before you'd leave if you want. Uh, this one I'm going to do at $65. Six, five. Rainbow Moonstone. They call it white labradorite, which is basically what it is. And then you have some beautiful, thank you, Karen. Yeah, I'll do it next. Great design. You know, I love the height of it. Let me get you that measurement real quick. Because, you know, chunky fingers, they need long rings to hide the wrinkles. I know. I know that. I mean, you kind of lose the interest for a bit when it, life is happening. All right, Karen, it's about one and a half inches. We're going to go ahead and call that down for you. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. And that is, um, it's inside the stone. Let's take a look at it. It's inside the stone. See, it runs down through. Can't see it on the surface. Do you see the uh, where the light is? Thank you. Thank you, Diana. You don't see the crack. So if I mean you can you can go ahead and, and uh, retract. I don't feel it. Okay, dear. You think about it. If you change your mind, just let me know. It's not a problem. Okay, so the Asian face. Um, I didn't get a lot of info on this, but let me just get this marked up. Yes, thank you. Th those are the words I was looking for. Thank you, Deb. Okay. Hi, Linda. All right. So this ring, 
is really very, very unique. You're talking about this one, right? Yeah. Um, could not give you an age on this ring. I could tell you it is signed on the back. Could never tell you who that is. Uh, whether it was sized or not, I could not tell you either. I don't see any kind of indicator that this thing was sized. Okay. And I'm going to call this more than definitely, in my opinion, bone. Because there was a question, but I don't see any indication of that. And I'm pretty good at spotting it. So, anyway, it is fantastic. Let's see his face. The beard. Hi, Robin. Here's all the work. Super cool piece. So, now this one is large. This one is a size 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter. He's a happy guy. Yeah, he's a happy guy. Um, so that just about fits my trunk finger, but it's just not big enough. Um, this one I'm going to start at $75. $75 starting bid. It is signed. If you guys can translate, you might be able to figure out who the artist was. Scary. He's happy. Thank you, KJ. Does that fit you? Or are you getting this for somebody else? Just add to your collection. All right. We're going to go ahead and call it down for KJ. Thank you, KJ. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And, oh, that is so cool. It could be. Yes, that would have fit you. I thought about you. Congratulations, KJ. If your husband would wear that, he's a pretty cool guy. Pretty cool guy. Okay. Welcome to hang out as long as you like. If anybody's looking for anything that they saw on the auction, you can ask. Um, some things I'm holding for tomorrow, but for the most part, I'm willing to do anything. Like these amazing earrings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I did not check these for a signature. These are um, sterling silver turquoise. Elephant. Oh, they're from Philippines. Nine two five. Oh, the green elephant. Okay. These are made in the Philippines. They are glorious. It's funny because last night I was getting ready to go to bed and it saw I saw something about fashion. You know, I worked in the fashion district for the many years, but um, it was saying that the chin length earrings are huge this year. So these are absolutely stunning. Let's measure them from the very top. Bye, Bruce. Happy Easter. Three and a quarter inches. Three and a quarter inches. And these I will do at $55. $55 on the really cool spiral. Let me find him. He's here. Somewhere. Thank you, Linda. And thank you, Linda. That was easy. Thanks, ladies. Let's pull this out. Where is that elephant day? Okay, thank you so much, Linda. Let's go ahead and call that down. Going once. Going twice. Hey, Polly. 
fair warning and sold to Linda Clancy. I think he did. He packed up and left. Thank you so much, honey. They're beautiful. Okay, let's put those in a nice bag. All right, let me find him. Thank you, ladies. Quick, quick second. Let me see if I can find this Elefante. I mean, there's really not that much jewelry here. It should be very clear where he is. I'll be darned if he's not in here. Oh, there he is. I got him. I got him. <laughs> this is a Judith Jack. This is a JJ. And this is just a, a glass or CZ. You're welcome. He's a handsome fellow. The glass is in good condition. I don't see any major scratches of any kind. He's just, uh, or she's just moving along. And I will do this at 45. Judith Jack Elephant Day, $45 starting bid. Is there any? Baby, I was just gonna say Baby Bear loves JJ. 45 with Baby Bear, thank you. KJ's in at 50. Thank you for, uh, for the 50, dear. Let me just get Linda Clancy. Okay. I have 55 with Baby Bear. Thank you, Baby Bear. KJ's back at 60. Baby Bears at 65. Thank you, ladies. Good quality. KJ's in at 70. Thank you, Baby Bear. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I hope the picture is better because I did go back to my old fun, old phone, my old fun. Thank you, KJ. I appreciate your bids. I will get that ring out to you and invoice tonight and probably mailed uh, on Tuesday. Going once, going twice, fair warning and sold to baby bear. Thank you so much. Okay. He's a chunky monkey. A chunky monkey. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to do the book chain next. I was all over everywhere trying to figure out how to price this thing. And I still really don't know. I love you, honey. Talk soon. So I'm going to wing it. Um, I'm actually haven't even looked that closely at it yet. Because cleaning the jewelry takes, takes longer than any other part of this whole adventure. And then we'll do those earrings. By the way, those earrings are signed a triple D. DDD. If you want to look up and see if what that is or who that might be, you can check it out. Okay. This necklace i want to tell you how i feel about this necklace this necklace makes me smile it is not marked anywhere that i can see i think everything on this is original and the camera did that no justice because there is buku shine on this necklace 
look at the shine. And then it is, of course, reversible. I only gave it a little wipe with a cloth. So this can be taken to your jeweler, but this is not bad. Check it out. Do you see the shine? Quite a bit of shine. But this thing, it's like playing with silly putty. It is so fantastic. It feels so amazing. Never really had a proper book chain necklace like this before. And I probably never will again. You know, these are the kinds of things that just lucked out. Now, I want you to know that Barbara Mulvana saved this necklace. This necklace was in the scrap pile. They were just about to send it out to scrap. And it's gold filled. It's gold filled. And Barbara asked me to try and find some little chains. So I asked the guy, can I see your gold filled? And this was in there. And the guy was just on his way to pick it up. Whether he would have scrapped it or not, I don't know. But they scrap. They scrap. Especially gold filled. They get more for gold filled than they get for sterling. It's just about 18 inches long. Um... I'm going to start this at $125. $125. Reversible. It is gorgeous. I've never seen anything like it. I never felt anything like it. Honestly. Honestly. It's just absolutely glorious. Barbara, I said 125. Did somebody else bid? 125, girl. Don't be throwing your money at me. Take a deal. Take a deal. All right. Nobody else is interested. Wow. You're a lucky girl. Get ready to call this down for Barbara. Going once, going twice, fair warning, and sold to Barbara for 120. I'm telling you, I got the chills. Look, I got the chills. There's something about this necklace. It's absolutely stunning. Congratulations, Barbara. That is awesome. nice when you get something that you've been looking for. Congrats. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. That makes me happy. Congratulations, sweetie. Okay, um, let's do, I love this bracelet. It has a little bit of, um, I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. Let me just give it a quick test and make sure everything is as cleaned or as presented. It has no marks on it whatsoever. Let me just get the right angle. Hi, Yippee IO. Okay, that's definitely sterling. Okay, so this is um, seven and three quarter inch. Seven and three quarter inches. And you have these like native style or Southwestern style, even um, little like um, circles. They almost look like little letters. Says Mexico on the back. I don't see any other signatures on this. Seven and three quarters. And this one we can do for I'm gonna do this for thirty-two. I'm 
um, pixelated. Okay, hold on. Siri, put on do not disturb. Nah, I'm going to change. Hold on. I'm trying to shoot from my old phone, but give me a second. I'm live. Cold and windy here today. Hold on, we're getting there. Give me a minute. For what I pay for cable, I should have no problems whatsoever. Let me just go turn my Wi-Fi off. Wi-Fi off. That brings us to data. And enter the studio. Okay. Hold, Hold on. on. now eighty holy crap better okay perfect um thirty two dollars on this thirty two dollars on the sterling silver mexico multi stoned which is really nice because it has a different appearance on every angle <laughs> you ain't getting out of here that easy, girl. You don't get to go that quickly. Nope. You're not going to the abyss. Thank you, Pam. Well, you know, you got to, you learn as you go. That's so crazy, Karen. Pam, do me a favor. Just email me. I have two Pams, and I get them confused. So just let me know it's you that made that. Oh, Lexi's in. Thank you, Lexi. But I guess that's normal for spring, Karen. Spring and fall. I mean, I remember being dressed up for Easter, and it was snowing one year. I was younger. I have Lexi in a 40. Thank you so much. This one is so unusual. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Pam. All right, we're gonna go ahead and call it down. Well, I'm sure it's gonna go right back down, the, the temperature, isn't that the way it works? Fair warning. Yes, Pam. Only because I, I don't want to invoice the wrong one. I, I used to do that with the leases. Uh, I always used to invoice or ship the wrong package to the wrong Lisa. I would constantly get confused between the two of them. So congratulations, Lex, and thank you so much. Hi, Wendy. Oh, you do? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much on that one. I like the noise it makes. Okay, here is a um, pretty cool piece. Uh, you know what? Let's hold off on that. Let's do the kitty cat. 
I have a kitty cat sterling silver Tasco brooch. He is a 925 kitty cat. He measures uh, one and three quarter inch by two inches, maybe two and a quarter. Here he is. He wants his butt scratched. That's what my dogs do. Well, dog. And that one I will do at uh, 20, $22. Starting bid, 22 Okay. Baby Bear likes the kitty cat at 22 Gotcha, sweetie. Thank you. Whoopsie. It's funny. I was like, she's not even on Facebook because that's how they bid on Facebook with a letter in front of the number because otherwise Facebook would um, would ghost the comment. Zoe, she's it's a road. We're on a road to uh, get getting her where she needs to be. But it's a long road. It's a long road. 27 with Linda. Thank you, Linda. Doesn't he? Like when he's rubbing up against your leg. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have 27. Looking for 28 or better. Thank you, baby bear, for your bids. Honestly, if there's anything you saw, you can ask. Because I have the two trays right here next to me. Happy to give you what you would like. Okay, Barbara, I see you 28. I see Linda in at 30. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Linda, we're going to call it down for you. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning and sold thank you linda congratulations thank you linda clancy all right i have i have stuff all right do you guys want to check out the Labradorite ring? That's a big ring. Well, I'm not going to say big. It's not as small as I, it's not as large as I thought it was. Uh, this is made in China. I'm trying to find another mark on it. There should be one more mark. There it is. And it says 925 MLD. MLD. Who I don't know. I don't know who that is. So this is coming up at an eight and a quarter. Oh, yay. <laughs> don't worry if you guys did not get a sassy cat. You know, I, I am waiting for them to arrive. I had to order more. Do you see that it has these beautiful little garnets and that it has this beautiful like hammered effect? Sassy cat. That's right. So that's real pretty. Um, but I, it's like I said, it's sitting on here because of the setting, and it's saying eight and a quarter, and I am a nine all day long, a nine. And this, I would say, is an, would fit easy on a nine and a half. Is that not something? A beautiful chosen um, cab. And then the beautiful garnets on either side. I know. I do too. Mine's right there. He's just hanging out. <laughs> I have a black one as well. But I may have to give that away. Um, this one, face value, almost an inch and a half, a little shy of an inch and a half. 
And this one I will also do at $65. Isn't that hi? She had the panda. And I'm telling you, a nine, okay, depending on the shape of your finger, I get skinny down at the bottom because I broke my knuckles. So I get skinnier as it goes down. Diana likes it. Thank you, Diana. Yes, I can't wait for that, Gina. That excites me. That does excite me. I can't believe you got a blue. All right, we're going to go ahead and call this down for Diana. Going once. Go. It does. It says MLD. Oh, who did I knock out? No, it was from when I was boxing. Although I did have a temper when I was younger. Congratulations, Diana. You got that beauty. It's amazing because I didn't like confrontation when I was younger. I didn't I did not. I would go in the opposite direction of confrontation. Unless it was the affairs of my heart. You mess with my heart, you're gonna get a whole different side. Congratulations, Diana. Love it. Congrats. Okay. Um, this ring might be worth a lot of money, so I can't bring this ring. If you're interested in this ring, please email me. This way I will make sure you are present. Hi, Alyssa. Um, I can't find the, the information I need to find on this ring, um, but I just need to wait, okay? So if you're interested in the this ring, just you know, go ahead and reach out to me. And just let me know, and I will let you know when it's coming up. Welcome, Alyssa. Okay. I have this uh, really pretty, very uh, says sterling. I like how flat these beads are. This is, without question, a very beautiful tiger's eye. I did not test these, so I assume that they are likely sterling. And then it has this little vessel. It doesn't open up though, but it's got this little vessel like pendant. So it's really, really choyant, we'll say. It's a insert box style closure. And it is about 19 inches with a hang length of almost 12. Very pretty piece. Gotta put tiger's eye on black it's just such a gorgeous gorgeous stone um and this beautiful necklace i will do for 75 dollars. 75 beautiful gorgeous dollars on this fantastic piece that you could wear with just about anything mm. hand knotted beautifully beautifully done i like how some of the the lines go this way see like here and then some of them go up and down. But this particular piece, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. All right, no worries. It is here. You guys can let me know. Let's do uh, this beautifully carved carnelian leaf. Now this is an enhancer. I'm learning this as we speak. I'm gonna open that up and see if there's any marks inside the enhancer. And I don't, oh wait. Nine, two, five, China. It's China, but who? Yeah, is that something? WK925 China. This thing is gorgeous. And it's not so thin that you're going to worry about it. I would still wear it high on the neck. So when you bend over, it's not smacking around, you know, as you bend. But look at that. Carnelian. 
enhancer, sterling silver. It's got all the veining of the leaf carved in. Oh, that's mine. That's mine, sweetheart. Yeah, that's that's my personal ring. I was trying on something. Gorgeous piece. Hi, Lizzie. And again, it's pretty stable, but I would wear it higher. Three inches by, let's say, uh, one, almost one, one and a third. Let's go with one and a third. Again, you could put this on your beads. You could put this on a torque, which I do have a couple of those. Um, this guy I'm going to do with $35 starting bid. Thank you, Alyssa. I like to let people know that things are made in China. Some people don't like sterling from China. I never had a problem with that, personally. I mean, there are some amazing designers. I'm just going to try and put it on a torque just so we could hang it up so you can get a feeling for it. But it has a direction. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. All right, thank you, Janda, for your bids. Karen, we're gonna go ahead and call it down for you at $45. Going once, going twice, fair warning. And sold. Thank you for your bids, Janda. To Karen for $45. All right. Let's do these earrings. These earrings are sterling silver carnelian. They're marked triple D's. D, D, D. It's beautiful. You're welcome, Karen. Thank you. It's hard to not keep these things, but I know I'm just going to look at them and not wear them. Okay. All right. Just make sure I got all the right prices and the right people. Yes. Okay. So, again, hot this season. Shoulder dusters. Chin length. <laughs> is what they're saying in the fashion world. It is signed D D D Mexico 925. D D D D2D. Let's get a measurement. These I'm going to start at $35. $35 going going once. <laughs> uh 3 and 1 quarter inch. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Hi, Liz Hansen. Karen came in just before you, sweetheart. I need 36. Uh, Linda's in. Dominique. Thank you, girls. Um, I have Bar. Wow, you guys are going so fast. Barbara's in at 45 first. Karen's in at 50 first. I see you, Linda. Liz is in at 60. Don't you love when I don't do research? Aren't they very elegant? Thank you for your bids, Miss Karen. Linda's back at 65. Barbara's out. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara's like, I don't care. I got, I got what I came here for. <laughs> Liz is in at 75. Thank you. So much more fun. This is how you always used to sell. It's like, how much do I need for it? All right, let's start, start it there. Thank you, ladies. They are very beautiful. Thank you. 75 with Liz. 90 with Liz. We're at 90 now.
Don't try and distract her, Linda. <laughs> Don't try and be buddy buddy when you're bidding. <laughs> Linda, you're so cute. <laughs> Linda's like, hi, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> did you see my ring Liz isn't that perfect all right thank you so much Linda calling them down going once going twice strategy she's got some strategy and sold thank you so much they are yours Liz Thank you, thank you. It is, isn't it? It has to stay. Thank you. All right. Ah, oh, you're so sweet, Linda. Very sweet. Thank you from both of you. From both of you. Um, how about, now this is a gorgeous bracelet, guys, doesn't compare with some of the pieces that Gina was putting up the other night, Tuesday night, but I tell you what I do like about this piece. Let me just double test it and make sure it's marked, but this is abalone. Very, okay. I, w I didn't think it was abalone, but it is but it's very muted. It doesn't have a high color, but, 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 but look, I gotta bring it down, hold on. This phone, I just can't get used to it. Look at the definition on these faces. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like they're all painted. They're all painted faces. At one point, I thought it was something other than abalone. So I really got a kick out of that. That they're so, like, especially this, these on this end, so painted, warrior-like. Um, so it is a box closure. Let me get a size. I would say uh, six and three quarters on this bracelet. They all are, right? Any stone jewelry, it is all one of a kind. Let me just check this mark. If any, here's one. Uh... I can't make it out. You're not going to be able to make it out either. So such a pretty piece. Let me show you something though. It's got, must have a little bend in it somewhere right there. See this little guy's popping out. There he is. He goes back in because when I was trying to close this bracelet, see how it's a little bit off center. It, I mean, it definitely closes without problem, but there must be a bend somewhere where it's not supposed to be. Okay, so just pointing that out. Yes, this is sterling. Uh, has a mark right here. Make sure it's yeah. It's just stamped sterling. It was tested. Let me do that behind the camera because I can't do it. Okay. And this guy, I'm going to start at, um, let's start this at 45, $45 starting bid. <clears throat> Thank you, Karen. Hi, Rosa. Yes, it is my dear. Hi, Deb. You didn't. You did not miss much. I know why you ask, because they make these kinds of bracelets all the time in the um, alpaca silver. Okay, let me just catch up my comments. 
Um, Rosa, I have Karen in at 45. If you would like to go to 46. Well, I, I have a lot of signed pieces, so I got to give you guys deals where I can. Just going to wait and see if Rosa would like to go to 46. Karen, just we got you on hold. Uh, Rosa's in a 50. Thank you, Rosa. Uh, Liz is in a 55. I like the colors too. I'm telling you, these faces are fantastic. Thank you, Miss Karen. Baby Bear's in at 60. Liz is in at 65. Cool piece. Thank you, Lizzie. Uh, Baby Bears in at 70. Rosa, thank you so much for your bids and welcome to Denim to Diamonds. Uh, Liz is in at 75. Baby Bear is out. Thank you, Baby Bear. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold and congratulations. Thank you everyone for your bids. That goes to Liz. Thank you, Liz. Okay. Now. I got the moon. We all have that eclipse coming up, right? So this is a Labradorite, but you're more in the yellow green than you are in the blue. It is unpolished on the back. It is signed Sajin 925. Yeah, it's in the middle of the day here. I think it's 12 o'clock here. This is a stationary. So it's about two and three quarter inches by about two inches. Smiling, happy face. Let's put it on the torque so you can see what it looks like. Has absolute presence, absolute beautiful presence. And um, I will do this at six zero, sixty dollars Sajin. I couldn't help it. When I did my short, all I could think about were the honeymooners. So I put up the honeymooners song. I couldn't help myself. Karen, I see you first. Baby Bear, you came in second. Right now we have Karen in at 60, looking for 65 or better. Baby Bear is in a 65. We're in the path of totality. Wow. I don't know. Then I guess, oh, we are. That means I am too. East Coast. Yeah, a lot of the kids, uh, schools closed early. They're closing early. They're sending the kids home. Other schools bought glasses for the kids. I guess they're going to make it a learning experience. Who knows? Baby Bear's in at 75. Karen is out. Thank you for your bids, Karen. We're going to call this down. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold to Baby Bear. Congratulations. Happy little moon. Okay, <clears throat> I have this vintage. You're so welcome. I know. Is that what it is? Is it the 3D thing? Is that what it is? I don't think so, silly. They're supposed to be blackout style 
something something uv or something i don't want anything to happen to you sorry linda okay I saw you put a post up asking if anybody had extra glasses, eclipse glasses, Barbara. Okay, so this bracelet is sterling. Let me get you a size. Very unique piece. This one is dead on seven and a quarter. Oh, I didn't know that. Seven and a quarter. Oh, uh, well, you can get them in time from Amazon. So, very unique piece. And I like it. I like the way this is done. So, the whole front of your... <laughs> That's what we did. We did that once. Do you see? It really does, you know hug your arm you can bend these in a little bit to fit your st your style of your wrist very pretty piece i didn't see any marks on this at all but it is tested i'm going to do this for uh 50 dollars. starting bid of 50. it's got the shepherd's hook closure Here's the underneath. Don't know if this is original. No way to know that. Karen's in. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? All right, Karen, we're going to go ahead and get ready to call that down for you. Yes. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. You have a theme going. A theme. You do. Congratulations. I do have a couple of rose rings. I was looking for more vintage rings, but um, I have... I have this one. Um, just happened to be there. And I thought I had another. I might have another somewhere. Okay. This is going to Karen for 50. I have a couple of um, David German bangle bracelet and some Tiffany. If you guys are interested, just let me know and I'll bring it up. Okay. So this is, feels like a um, made in Israel type of piece, but this is ATI 925 Thailand, but it feels like that electroform kind of ring that, that you would see coming out of Israel, which I love. Uh, it's seven and a quarter. And I'll do this at 25. That's funny, Wendy. Uh, Karen's in at 25. Deb, if you'd like to go to 26. Okay, you're in at 30. I see you. Thank you. Somebody talked to me about Larimar the other day. Uh, it's a seven and a quarter, Pam. Seven and one quarter. And then all of a sudden now I have like eight pieces of Larimar. It was really strange that it was sitting there. Karen's high at 35. Put in an order to get my celery and my horseradish for my Bloody Marys tomorrow. 
Oh, you got it, Diana. I love that bracelet. It's a real beauty. Thank you so much for your bids, Deb. We're going to call it down for Karen. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold to Karen. Thanks again, Deb. Thank you, Karen. Congratulations. Okay. Well, let me grab that David Anderson little masterpiece. And I'll tell you, there's not many out there like this one. They're all enameled, which I never saw un enameled from him. But... My favorite stone. Very beautiful bracelet. This is uh, David Anderson. Most of his stuff I've ever had was um, enameled. It is signed right here. DA, upside down, but there it is. It's got a box closure and a safety chain. Now, the only thing I want to point out is something that you probably wouldn't even think about. But see how it comes through? I notice all the everything when it comes to my silver pieces. So that's something you have to live with unless you switch it out. But I want to point it out because I don't want you to get it and say, oh, look at that. Okay, so pointing that out. And it fits on a size... I'm going to say seven. It barely goes down to seven and a quarter. So I'm going to say seven. And I'm going to do this at $145. Seven. Size seven. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, the work they do is, there's like three or four of those uh, artists out there that make incredible jewelry. But there it is. Mm -hmm. Can't, I don't know how you would put an extender on this. I think you'd have to change the entire mechanism. I couldn't see how in any way this could be enlarged. But it's here. If anybody's interested, you just shout out. Just leave it right there for now. I have um, this ring, which is very unique. Yeah, it was perfect for me. Sorry, Diana. All right, this is going uh, very high on Topaz. So I would say probably Mystic. And so is the Center Stone. Going way up. Ruby Sapphire almost. But it looks, oh, it's a Star Sapphire, guys. It's like, duh. It's a Star Sapphire. Look. Right there. That's so cool. And these are testing Mystic Stone. Oh, I'm so sorry. It would. And these are Mystic in that area of, I would say, because that's the color. But that is a Star Sapphire. Son of a gun. And um, this is... Uh, I'm going to really try to get this kind of stuff done. Sarda, S-A-R-D-A, -A, 925 Sarda. Yep, I don't have time to look that up. So Sarda is written out. It is dead on a size eight. And I'm going to do this at $50. Sarda. And that is a star sapphire with topaz.
Mine too, Barbara. Mine too. Karen likes it. Thank you, Karen. Isn't it gorgeous? Yippee I O, I see you. I have Yippee I O it. Oh wait. Okay. Hi bid right now is Polly. Karen's out. Thank you, Karen. I hear Zoe screaming. Barbara's out. Thank you. I see Yippee-I-O in at 75. Polly, thank you so much for your bids. Oh, hi, Loretta. Loretta's in at 90. Got to watch out for those quiet ones. No, my son's got her. Thank you, Wendy. My son's got her. Uh, Yippee IO is in at 95. Loretta's in at 105. Thank you, ladies. Very beautiful ring. Yeah. Thank you, Yippee IO. I appreciate everyone's bids. We're going to call it down for Loretta. Going once, going twice. Fair warning and sold. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it, Loretta. Thank you. All right. Something else I was... Hi, Sue. Something else I was very drawn to is this piece. Had a couple of people ask about this. I would say this is opalite. But this, um, this could be removed if you chose to. But uh, it's got decent weight. It does have the cross on the front. Obviously, it opens. Where's your little thumb thing? Right there. Right there. And it's got writing inside. Let's see what it says. Israel the day. D-I-D-A-E. That Now it makes more sense. 925. Now it makes more sense. Okay, let's get you a size and then I'll show you the, okay, it's, it's hitting, it's on a seven. So that means it'll be tight. Ugh. I'm telling you, see, look, I'm falling apart. I don't know how I'm going to show you with that. Can't. Okay, this one might be a little dirty, but we'll check. There you go. This one I'm going to start at $30. But this has got good weight. Three zero. Three zero. And I would say that this is opalite. Faceted. You could put this on any bracelet. Or any necklace, for that matter. Karen's in at 30. Deb, I do see you, but Karen came in just before you. Looking for 31. Karen's in at 30. Looking for 31. Give Deb a moment. Thank you, Deb. Huh. I'm just playing with my jewelry back here. Karen, thank you at 38. Deb is in at 40. 
Yeah. Thank you, Karen. I know, right? It doesn't stay around very long. Going once, going twice, fair warning. And Deb, congratulations. This is yours for $40. Beautiful piece. Okay. Anybody have interest in those necklaces back there? I can tell you about those. If you want to see Tiffany, let me know. I have a, a summer set. I think they're called the mesh necklace. I'll show that to you real quick. I, I would say this is probably maybe 16, 18. I have to figure that out. But this is Tiffany. Absolutely beautiful. I don't have, I may have one box. I have one box and that would probably go to the necklace. I do have a bracelet as well. And that's beautiful mesh. Yes, absolutely. Um, this one I will start at $325. Tiffany and company signed correctly, authenticated by the jeweler. And that uh, is $325 starting bid. She did. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. I, I think I only have one cuff and then some silpata. Hi, Amy. Welcome, Amy. Okay, so Karen, uh, this is, I'm not getting um, any kind of reading from this, but I have weird feelings about it. It almost looked like somebody squished an opal in here and then put some kind of resin back. But the front to me looks like a mystic. So I have no idea what's happening here. I'm not getting any testing on the stone itself. This is a beat up chain that's got a knot in it. I'm gonna send it to you, but I will replace it with a different 14, uh, 18 inch chain. This measures, let's see, uh, one and three quarter inch up and down by almost two inches on his wingspan. And this one I will do at a $28 starting bid. $28 starting bid. Yeah, I like these cut chains. They have a certain amount of uh, refract, light refraction or re retra refraction. I don't know if that's the right word. Okay, you're cool. Baby Bear is into 28. No, nope, Baby Bear. Karen's got to go to 29. Yep, Karen's into 35. I got this one, which is um, signed. Baby Bear is in F40. She's probably at work today. Oh, no, today's Saturday. She comes and she goes, Janda, are you in earshot? Hi, Sheila. Baby Bear's in a 50. Um, Amy sent you an email. She's trying to get your attention. So check out your email. Amy sent you an email. All right. We're going to go ahead and call this down. Thank you. No, she's there. No worries. Sometimes they're listening and not reading. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning and sold. 
<laughs> she, yeah, she's responding. There you go. All right, baby bear, you got that for 50. Karen, thank you so much for your bids. That's right, right? Okay, yep. Yeah. And I will get you a new chain on that. You can sit patiently and uh, undo this one. Okay, now that cuff bracelet is hard to research. Now, the reason why is because they got everybody in their family and their family's families, I think, are um, jewelers. And I believe this to be gay or J. I think it's gay. Maybe that's why. Is it J? Somebody helped this poor girl out, meaning me. Yeah, I thought it was gay Boyd. I don't know why I thought it was gay Boyd. I think it's gay Boyd. Somebody please correct me. Okay. Here is your scene. Okay, and then it's just got beautiful detail coming around, around the side. And again, I think it's gay Boyd. I just feel like that sounds right to me. Um, let me get you a size. On the mandrel, it's about a six and a half. And if I measure across, it's um, two and an eighth. So I would say that this has to be a six inch wrist. May I'm a six and a quarter. I could never wear that. I mean, six and a half. So I would say maybe six and a quarter, but I would probably suggest six. Yeah, it's so small. Um, and I would do this anyway for uh, 140 if anybody's interested. Okay, got that. And this went to Deb H. Okay, no problem on that. Um, the only other thing I have is this thing, and I couldn't find this. This is signed. It is beautiful. Just got to find the signature. Give me a second. It always takes me a little bit of time. But I'm almost certain this is a Silpata. Got a couple of Silpata pieces. Well, I'm trying to figure that out. Let me put something else up. Let's do this. This is um, a pendant. That goes to diamond. <laughs> it goes all the way to diamond. But it, it doesn't look like a diamond. What in the heck is this? Why would that test so high? Hold on. It might just be my machine. Nope. Three out of four times it's hitting diamond. All right. We're going to hold off on that. Can't sell it because I don't even know what it is. And if it's something that I don't know about and it's worth something, then maybe I should just wait until I can figure that out. So how about this? How about this cute little purse pendant? And it does open up. You got me. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. Not a clue, but I can't imagine them setting it in silver. Okay. Well, when in doubt, pull it to the side and wait. All right. This one, I can't see a, a mark on of any kind. 
It's just a cute little purse. You can just give it a quick test. Laramar pendant. You got it. You know what? Let me deal with this purse later. Laramar pendant. Okay, I have... This one isn't as nice. But the other one on the chain... Where's that one? Here. No, the leaf bracelet is a small... It's a seven. It's a seven. This is a David Anderson. Um, it's available. I think I put it on for 140. So this comes with this torque chain necklace, which is probably about 16 inches. If you want to see it, Linda, let me know. I'll bring it up for you. This is Topaz and Laramar. And it just has a um, asterisk on the back. And this chain, which has a little hang tag. 925 Italy. So I don't know if these go together. I seriously doubt it. But um, together, I will do the this whole set at um, $40. $40 starting bid. Thank you, Karen. Next bracelet, it's a Mexican. It is foil opal. Okay, we're going to count that down for Karen. Going once, going twice. Fair warning and sold. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I have Silpata here. Um, as a matter of fact, I can't believe how much some of these Silpata pieces look like um, Dawkins pieces. Yes, there are Laramar rings. You're still here? Okay, hold on. I will show you them all and I will size them. Oh, no way, Linda. Or is it storming by you? Okay, let's do the Laramar rings. Okay, first we have, I'll do this in just a moment. This one is... A size eight and a quarter. Nice design. That's eight and a quarter. This one is got a square back. This is seven and a quarter. Square back on that one. And then I have this one, which looks a little bit older, maybe. Um, not quite eight and a half. And this one, which is almost an exact eight. What size do you need? <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Linda. All right, let's just start. I'll just do them. I'll do this one. Uh, this is an eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Yes. And I would do that at $30 starting bid. It is signed 925. That's all I see. 
seven and a quarter. Oh, eight and a quarter. Sorry, eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. I got you. Seven. Four. Okay, guys, we'll do them all. Karen's in at 32. Thank you, Pam. Karen's in at 32. Looking for 33 or better. Nice band on this. I have Pam in at 35. Karen's back at 38. I like the roundness. Pam is in at 40. And just so you guys know, we're going to be here tomorrow at 10 a.m. If you don't have any plans or anything that you have to do, you're welcome to join us. But we do recognize that Easter is a good time to be with your family. So totally going once, going twice. Ah. Uh, He's in the doghouse, man. He's in the doghouse. Congratulations, Pam. Thank you, Karen. Seven and three quarters. Yeah, Janda, just give me a second because I know that this one is probably exhausted. I'll do you right after I do um, Diana. Okay, Pam, I got you. Okay, I think the one that was seven and three quarters, was it this one? That's seven and a quarter. Okay, that's for you next, Janda. This is eight and a half almost. And this is eight, no seven and three quarters. Um, I have this one that's almost an eight. And this one that is almost an eight and a half. I think that's kyanite. It looks like kyanite to me. Let me know. Hi, Leslie. Of course you can. Absolutely. And welcome. Thanks for coming. All right, well, I wait to hear from Diana Jan the Panda, seven and a quarter, this one here. I'll do this one at 30. Seven and one quarter. That's okay. If anybody wants seven and a quarter, Leslie's in at 30. Thank you, Leslie. This has a square back. I don't know if you were there where I saw this. When I said that, it's got a square back, sterling silver. Hold on, Deb. I got to stay focused. Give me a second. Um, I don't see any marks on it. You got it. Okay, uh, Deb Hansen, I have Leslie in at 30. I need 31. From you, my dear. Deb's in at 35. It has a nice gradual toning, the way that it, it just kind of comes to like an iceberg tip. Really a pretty stone. Leslie's back at $38. Thank you. Karen, I just want to test this real quick. I cleaned them, but I didn't test them. We're just going to wait to hear from Deb to see if she wants to advance or not. Deb is at 39. Okay, Karen, I'll put this up for you and everybody else that might be considering. This is kyanite, sterling silver. It has a backing because kyanite is really very it's splintery, very splintery. Thank you so much, Leslie. Um, I will start this one at $18. Calling this down for Deb Hansen. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. And thank you for your bids, Leslie. 
sold to Deb for $39. Karen's in at 18 on the pendant, which totally screams kyanite to me. Baby Bear is in at 20. Um, Karen's in a 25. Okay, this one is about an eight. We're bidding on the kyanite. Beautiful stone, great design. I'll do this one at the same price. I'll do this one at 30 as well. Now we're going to get, we're not going to, we're going to get messed up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, baby bear. Going once, going twice. Going to have to whip out the letters and sold to Karen. Thank you so much for your bids. This one I'll do at 30. It is just about an eight. Beautiful Laramar stone, $30 starting bid. You're welcome. If you're cooking tomorrow, your family's coming over later, grab a cocktail, come on over, sit down. Karen's in at 30, thank you, Karen. Diana probably fell asleep. Hi, Cynthia. Cynthia's in at 40. Yeah, we're doing this one right there. Um, I have 40, Diana. I'm looking for, okay, Karen's in at 45. Let you know if I see anything. Karen's out. Cynthia's in at 50. Diana, do you want to come back at 55? Yeah, I don't see any indicating marks. Just 925. Cynthia, I'm just going to give Diana a quick minute. She might be lagging. No. Okay. Do you want to go to 55 on this one, sweetie? The other one, the last one I have that I'm aware of, this one is almost an eight and a half. Almost an eight and a half on that one. This one is just about an eight. I need 55 if you would like to advance. I got a big flower ring. Got this. This is a nice ring. Thank you, my dear. Cynthia, thank you for your patience. We're going to call it down for you. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. And Cynthia, that is yours. Thank you. And happy Easter. Thank you for coming. Okay. I also have what looks like coral to me or sponge coral. I'm not too sure. I have to look at it closer. Okay. This is going to Cynthia. Okay. Okay. This last one. Okay, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. What pendant? Oh, I know. So am I. I know. <laughs> you and Gina both. Uh, if you see, it's just about an eight and a half. I'll do this one. Let's do this one at $28. $28. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted. I have no idea what this is. It could just be um, a random. I don't know. 
I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's something in the Moissanite family as far as you got it, sweetheart. I have 28 with Baby Bear on the Laramar. Thank you. Uh, I have a shamrock ring. I thought I had another flower. Oh, I have a smaller, but I think is Stuart and I. It looks like his. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. I must have got acid on my finger because it's burning. Okay, so thank you so much, baby bear. I just want you to have a full picture of what is I have here that is somewhat like um, I have this elongated ring and this, which is not really flower, but it's a cluster. I think that's it that looks like that. Okay. And I'm still trying to find the signature on the bangle. And I will do this as well. Um, the flower ring. Is just marked 925. These are little tiny purple stones. I'll try to test them for you. The middle one. It's going to be the same as the middle one. Amethyst. This is amethyst, so I assume those are all amethyst. It's saying a nine, but I think it'll fit a little bit bigger than a nine. Yeah, see? That's that's bigger than a nine because of, you know, finger spillage and all that good stuff. But there it is. It's an any finger ring. I will do this at $30. I'm assuming the little ones are also amethyst because that middle stone is amethyst. Yes, I have a bracelet. I have a bracelet, Pam. You're right. Where is that thing? There it is. Got a bracelet. Karen's into 30, looking for 31 or better couple of pearl style rings as well. Karen's in at 35. Yippee, I always in at 36. Looking for 37 or better. I will figure out what this thing is. Karen's in the 38. Uh, this matches the pendant. It's got the same uh, mark on it. I did. <laughs> and at its largest, this bracelet would go to, Yippee I O's in the 40. At its largest, this is a seven. Thank you. This matches your necklace. Going once going twice thank you for your bids karen and so, hey vampy how are you happy easter okay let me get this in a bag how are you my dear oh don't fall please don't fall off oh, bags everywhere okay thank you yippee io All right, Karen, this does match your necklace. It's got the same mark on it as your pendant does. Um, I will do this at 35. That's the largest at a size seven. Nice band. Latimar with two pearls. Thank you, Karen. 
Okay, and this goes to Yippee.io. Thanks for coming, everyone. I very much appreciate it. Catherine's in at 35. We're going to make a, a, a Peru, right? A Peru. <laughs> going once, going twice. Fair warning. And I know you do. You're not the only one. Um, this one I'm getting ready to do. This one is only like a size six. Um, this one's a seven. This is um the one we were talking about before. And this one I'm getting ready to do. Thank you, Karen. That's yours, honey. You got a ring. You all set? You're ready to step out. She is complete. Um, I just walked into the shop. Uh, actually, this was not at the, the regular antique shop. This was someplace else. And uh, he had this ring, and it was in with all the others. And I just said, yep, denim to diamonds. That is so me. Okay, sweetheart. Rock crystal. I was shocked. Okay, Karen, let me just get you. Okay, Yippee I.O. was at 40. Okay, so you're talking about the this one? Let me just double check it, make sure I got the right size. This is the one that's 140. This is uh, David Anderson. And this is... This is how it's sitting. Right on seven, seven and a quarter. Okay, this one I'll do at 140. This is David Anderson, um, Norway. Love you. I'll see you in the morning. Bring a cocktail. All right, so you want me to call it down for you? All right, we're going to sell this to Linda unless she stops me. Going once. Going twice. Oh, you'll pass on it. Okay. No problem. All right, so this one, oh, that's why I think it's so potted. There it is. See, we figured it out. Thanks. Thanks, Linda. No worries. Uh, this one is seven and a half. This is Silpata. This measures about two inches. No, don't be sorry. It's cool. Uh, this one I will do. I paid a lot for these these pieces. Different guy. Um, let me look at this again. Gosh, um, I have to do this at 90. If anybody's interested in the Silpata. Wow, that's a lot for me. All right, the next bracelet is the Mexico uh, Foil Opal. Uh, two and a half. Yeah, this is a, a two and a halfer. Well, two and a third. Two and a third. You're welcome. And on the mandrel, it says seven and a half. But, you know, I think it's got a little bit of an oval to it. Tiny little bit, maybe. I don't know. And that is Silpata. Okay, this bracelet is six and a half at its most. If you want some movement, you could just go a little bit smaller. Six and a half at its largest. This is Mexico, and I will do this at $30. It opens up just like this at 30. I know, Linda, I say that all the time. This is Mexico foil back opal or foil opal or foil, whatever. Foil glass. 
Amy likes it. Thank you, Amy. Amy, I need your information. If you don't mind, just sending that to d2dauctions at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your bid. I know it's a nice one. It's simple. All right, calling it down for Amy. Going once. Thank you. The, the, the glass part is the part that I wasn't saying. Thank you, Gina. And that is now going out sold. Oh, do you? Oh, you have, Amy? Okay, thank you. No, 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 no. If you did, if you already registered, not a problem. You are good. And congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, does anybody want to see the Tiffany or the um, David Yerman bracelet? The David Yerman is a bangle, which I can't find anywhere. Yes, thank you, Amy. That's right. I remember. Oh, I remember, Amy. Of course you did. That wasn't today, Barbara. Reel your neck back in. <laughs> She's like, what, Buddha? Oh. Okay. This is a really beautiful David Yerman signed bracelet. Um, I don't think it has any gold in it, though. I think this is just sterling. Let me see. DY925, yeah. No gold in this one. And this is testing. Let's see. Um, I'm going to say Topaz. Beautiful. David German. No, no 18 carat, just sterling. He didn't, there's no gold on this piece. And this one goes to seven and three quarters, goes down to seven and three quarters on the mandrel. But it measures going across just slightly smaller than you would expect because of these little elements here. Like two and a quarter. How does that work? That is so weird. Seven and a half, I'll go with. Seven and a half. Uh, the David Yerman, no 18 karat gold. I'll do this at um, $95. Just sterling and topaz. I don't need that. Okay, this will go back tomorrow. Let's check out this ring. This one looks like it is um, sponge coral. Yeah, definitely sponge coral. And this one is signed 14K925. Uh, okay, around the ring. But how come you don't have your name on here? My glasses are fogging up. Oh, there it is. Nope. No, no mark. Just 14 carat. And that is right around the bevel the setting is 18 or whatever I just said. Sponge coral. I didn't clean this. I didn't damp wipe it. I didn't do anything to this. Left it just the way it was. So 14 carat 925. Let's get a measurement. This is just about a nine. And I'll do this at 60. $60 on the sponge coral. Measuring out on a nine.
Okay. Let's look at these. I don't know why I feel like I had a bracelet that looked like this. I might have. And then this came up later. I don't know. This is Tasco, Mexico. I love this piece. It is a box closure. It has a slight curve to it. And measures 18 inches. Now I have to put this on my other scale to get a weight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, Tasco, Mexico. It's over 108 grams. I have to do this at 175. $175. And then this one has a like a Tiffany closure. I don't understand. If anybody's interested in that Mexican beauty. Okay, if you like the ball necklace, it's just marked 925. It is a double strand. And it measures. Let's see. Oh, it's on a chain, too. It, um, uh, what do you call a chain? Paperclip chain. It's 16 inches. 16 inches. And this one, 144 grams. Oh, God, this guy killed me on price. Um, 144 grams. I'll do this for, gosh. Let me show you this closure. Goes in here like that, sits, and then you lock it. Oh, this one I have to do with um, 225. can't get it to sit right like that I think yep that's the best I could do yeah I can't buy these kinds of pieces from him it's just too high too high too high too high too high Barbara you like that <laughs> It's like a 225 at 144 grams. I think I like it. It's all paper clip. The chain's all paper clip. It's gorgeous. Uh, this is just marked 925, Linda. I don't see any Mexico mark at all. I don't see any mark. I actually expected it to be either Tasco or Mexico. I mean, Tasco or Italy. But there's no mark other than 925. Yeah, it's beautiful. Did I give you? I gave you a length, right? All right, let's call it down for Barbara. Going once. You're going to wear this instead of your regular pearls. Twice. And that is now sold to Barbara for $225. Yeah, I don't think I make doodly on that. But that's okay. Uh, you got something that you like. I'm happy. Congratulations. Are you dancing? You should be dancing by now. Okay. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. Okay. I have to weigh it again. Hold on. Well, 
175. Hi, Monica. Sure you can. Um, here's your mark. Here's your back. I didn't polish the back. Tasco, Mexico, 925. I'm trying to show you the links, but let me turn it over to do that. It's very unique the way they did it. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's like um, balls, little balls drilled through. And that is $175, 18 inches. Thank you, Monica. Linda, you didn't bid, right? I don't think I saw you bid. Okay. So I have Monica in at 175, looking for 180. If anybody else is in on that one, if not, we will call it down. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. I just wanted to make sure we are going once, twice, fair warning, and sold. Thank you so much, Monica. Happy holidays to you. It's got a little arch to it, so I want to make sure it doesn't bend. And like to do that, I have to make sure it's opened. There we go. Thank you so much, you guys. Great job. So maybe we'll just drink tomorrow and no, sell no jewelry. Uh, this one I, I love. I mean, this would fit you perfectly, um, Linda. But um, I don't even know if you like this. I think it's fantastic. But I have to get a price on it. Any more Tasco? Uh, I think I might. Let me look. Okay. Thank you, Monica. Okay. Let me see. Tasco. Let me see if this is Italy or not. I don't know if this will fit you though. This is 925. Which one, Amy? Um, just as 925 doesn't say Mexico on it at all. And I think it's a smaller size. And you know, there's some, oh no. Yeah. I don't think I like that. Something about this ring that bothers me. Oh yeah. That's not for sale right now. Um, I will give you guys a discount on this. It looks. Looks like somebody messed with it. it, like it got crimped or something, and somebody messed with it. It's got a little rough edge right there, and it just doesn't sit as nice as the other links, as you can see. See how nice and tight this is? See how nice and loose this is? Let's give you that loose back. But there's nothing wrong. Yeah, this is not for sale. I have to, um, I have to comp this. Okay, guys, so you, you see everything I'm talking about? Let's get a size. It's got a oversized lobster claw. See, the thing is, all, direction jewelry does have a direction. Sometimes you force it. You got to make sure it goes the way it's supposed to. Let's see, now let's look at this. Do you see what I'm talking about? This link right there. This one. All right. This is um, if I can if I can uh, authenticate it. This is a piece off of a samurai sword. They call it Shakuda. I think it's called Shakuda. 
So this one, um, I have to authenticate it first because it could go for a thousand dollars. Um, this is a size seven. I mean, it's sitting exactly on a size seven, Lexi. Um, it's 56 grams. I'll take a hit, but I still have to do it for a dollar gram. I'll take a hit on this, but that's okay. Because otherwise I'll take it, I have to take it back to him. 58 grams, $58 as is. Linda, take what, honey? This one? Okay, what are you talking about? Sorry. All right, Lexi's got this for $58. That is sold. All right, tell me what, Linda? What are we talking about? Ah! <laughs> You're talking about that. Hey, I hope it is. I hope it is. I kind of hope it is. But I don't know. Thanks, Lex. Okay. I have a... I'll give you... I'll give it to you for a thousand right now. And then you can figure it out. <laughs> Come on. Help a girl out. Here we go. Um, it's definitely stone. Is it an opal? I could not tell you for sure. Hey, I've tried. Got to try. So that could be an opal. I'm not going to swear to it, but it could be. And we're going to do this. It's a size uh, almost nine and a quarter. And I'll do this at 30. Um, this is pretty cool. Oh, baby bear, you like it? Okay, sweetie. I don't know what kind of stone this is, though. Is that a Celtic mark right there? Is that Celtic? Going once, going twice, fair warning, and sold to baby bear. Here, baby bear, maybe you might want this. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> They're like, of course it is, silly. This is the tiger that'll be on top of the eclipse. He's a beauty. Thank you, Barb. Hi, honey. Okay, this is going to baby bear for 30. Yeah, he's a handsome guy. You did? Why did you say something? Yes, he's handsome. Um, let me get some information. See if there's anything written on it. 925, I see. And that's it. I don't see anything else. He looks like he's got ruby eyes. Let me check that out. Um, no, we'll just call them red eyes. He's got red eyes. They're tiny. Got to show you his face. He's handsome. So he got two, oh, he's got two eyes. Most of the time, they don't have the other side of the face. He's got his head turned. So he's looking at you. All right. Let's see what I paid for this thing.
Huh. Uh, this is Onyx. Now, let me double check that. I'm saying it is, but I don't know. Yes, this is Onyx. Onyx you can read on the um, on the Presidium. I'll do this at 55. I'll get your measurement. My instincts say go higher, but that's okay. It's not signed. Two and a half by, I don't know, one and three quarters. I have Linda in at 55. Nice and clean. I need the kitty. All right. I think you're going to get it. Counting this down for Linda at $55. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold. Did you get your package yet, Linda? You guys should have all pretty much got your packages by now. And you, you should have your little uh, sassy cat. I did run out. More will go out with your packages. Congratulations, Linda. You got the kitty. Um, the only last Marcusite piece, I think. Well, this is a pretty cool repair. If somebody wants this. It has a B on it. No, forget it. This is a cool ring. Oh, yay, Emily. I got to send you an orange one. You were? Oh, Lexi, good job. Hi, Kathy Butler. Out of girl. How you doing, sweetheart? Hi, scavenger. Welcome. How you doing, everybody? How about we go in a different direction for a moment? How about we do this pearl and, and crystal? Pearl and crystal, I assume. Sterling silver, let's see. But I love the design and the length. It's not going to pick up, even if it is. I think it's sterling. It's too hard to um, test inside, but it is newer. It's got a shepherd's hook closure. I mean, a lobster claw closure. Here are your little pearl clusters and all different kinds of designs going through. Really pretty. This is all genuine, and this is a gold in color. Let me get you a measurement. This one measures 36 inches. This is a great, almost like everyday kind of necklace. You could dress it up. You could dress it down. You could wear it in two layers. You could wear it any way you want. There you go. Love these big pearls. Um, I will do this one at $60. $60 starting bid. If anybody's interested. This one, let me see if this is signed. Yeah, this one's signed. All right, I got to wait on that. How about a little vintage beauty that I know nothing about? Ah, thanks, Rachel. We like it here. We like it here. Um, check this out. Let me show you the detail. This is enameled, and I'm gonna call this silver. I don't know the content of the silver. I'm gonna actually give it a good test. Isn't that gorgeous? It does have a bail, a little jump ring right there. I'm sorry, my hair is everywhere. And I never wear it down. 
Let me show you the inside. Look at that. Um, let me check. Let me check. Uh, let me check. Now on the inside here, I think it says silver. It does. It's got a good lock. It measures one and a quarter inch. One and a quarter inch, beautifully enameled. I suspect Chinese, um, Asian of some sort. And I will do this at um, $42 starting bid. Oh, liquid silver. I have malachite with liquid silver. Um... What else do I have? I know I have a lot. You gotta give me a second. I'm in another area. Don't know if this is of interest, but I might as well bring it. This is some here. Oh, it doesn't matter how much, how hard I try. Okay, I'm back. This one has malachite. I was, I was, I was trying to undo this. $42, Janda. $42 starting bid. Sometimes I feel like I do. It's only because I, I was, I'm an, I was an over buyer. I would just buy and buy and buy and buy. It didn't matter every every time. Buy, buy, buy. No, I missed that, Kathy. I got you. It's yours. And this is now sold to Jan. De oh nope, Kathy's in at forty five. Of this, oh the necklace. Um, uh, mom, 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 mom. I'm gonna put this down. Kathy's in at forty five. The length. Uh, just over 18 inches, Pam. Maybe almost 19. Janda Panda, you want to come back at 46? Kathy, you got the necklace. And here is the Malachite Liquid Silver. I'm just trying to, it has serious scallop design to it it's a little cockeyed give me a second but you get the feeling going once on the locket going twice on the locket fair warning and this is sold to kathy for 45 dollars. thank you janda congratulations kathy i got you girl Again, if you guys are alone tomorrow, we will be here. Um, I will do this at uh, 20, nope, 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 $32, $32. This spider malachite, it's not sitting correctly. Um, we're, we'll be here at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning to hang out if you're not, if you're going to be alone or you're bored. Okay. Okay. No worries. I might have more, Pam. It's just a matter of where at the moment. Okay. And you said you wanted the pearls. So I'm putting those in a bag. Um, I have an amber. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not crazy. Oh, you know what I didn't do? The little diamond. I'll do those tomorrow. 
Um, I have an amber. See, I don't like these polished, high gloss amber personally. I like the rougher, the better. Or faceted, as you know. You're cooking. Sagin 925 is what this says. Sagin 925. I like the cut. I do like the angle cut on that. This is amber. Sagin. So gr grab a Bloody Mary. Come on over. Hang out. Dinner will be even more fun. More fun after Den of the Diamonds. Let me get you a measurement. This one measures uh, down to three and a half inches. You do? Three and a half inches. It's got all these pretty little stones. Um, I'll do this at $70. Seven zero. Okay. It's got a nice big veil. Here's Kathy. Baby Bear likes it. Thank you, Baby Bear. I mean, I like the, the amber where it's almost crumbling. I like it that, like, shaky. Thanks, Pam. This is Kathy. I like to do the tips. It's easier for me. Less time. All right, let me show you a couple of rings. If you guys want to see any of them, you let me know. Otherwise, we will, uh, what time is it? 6.30. Yeah, it's a good time. Okay, let me show you what I got in rings, and then you can pick out. Going once, going twice, fair warning, and sold to a baby bear. Okay, this I didn't test yet. Thank you. This one is a size, I gotta look at this though. I don't like the way that looks. Let me look at that. I have this vintage, size six. I did not polish that. I have a pearl that looks like it's a size eight. Just say pearl. I have this huge band, which is so cool looking, but it's too big for my thumb. That is a 12. You could just say band if you want to see that. This is a tiger's eye like this because it's a nice disc. That is a size nine tiger's eye. This is pearls. Kind of like wire wrapped almost. This one is a size nine. And we'll call that one pearl. Then we have this one. These crawler rings. I like these on thin fingers. I personally can't wear them. Size seven. Marcusites. Pretty ring. Um, This... The reason why I asked if this was Celtic, because there's something about the stone that makes me feel like it's the um, it's a six and three quarters. That is that special uh, stone from um, Ireland. And then I have this one, which I have to see if that's 14 carat, but this looks like um, garnet, and that's about a size seven, the nine pearl. Yeah, let me look at that. This one... Has no marks. It's got a lot of gold coloring. So why is it not marked? It's going to make my headache. Now I got to test it now. Uh, let me test this. Because I don't know if that's gold or not because it's not marked. I will do it on the edge of the stone so there's no contact with the pearl. Let me see.
All right, we're gonna let it sit for just a second. Let me get bagged, uh, baby bear bagged up. No. We're gonna sell it as all silver. Oh, is it really? Janda, you know the strangest things. Do you know that? How do you know that about curling? That is so funny. Okay, I got you, Pam. So this is looks like all genuine pearl. Oh, and that, it's so new, at least to us. So you have gold coloring going around here. You have gold coloring coming around here. Sterling silver. No, she's Californian. Here's your setting. Here's your pearl. Let me look at this pearl close. Hold on. Because I don't think, I think that's maybe somebody else tried to test this. Heinz 57, do you see right there on the corner? It looks like maybe it's got a little bit of scratching. And I feel like I see something on the top. Yeah, well, it's up to you. I mean, I'll, it's it's got a little bit of loss right here on the tippity top. It's got a little bit of scratching on the other side. Um, I'll do this for 20. It's genuine pearl. Okay. I want to talk to you for just a minute about these. Okay. I can't show you now because I'm on my phone that I was going to show you. Yeah, I can. Um, now, how I research these is um, I go to gem.app, gem see how many there are. I go to uh, eBay, see how many there are, see how, <clears throat> how many sold and how much they sold for. Now, when you're doing comps, in my opinion, this is just me. I, I'm, not a, I'm not good at comping in no shape or form shape or form um so there's three items uh one was bought at best offer okay so it was put up as a buy it now another one went uh for the, almost the same price bidding and one went for double and it was put up for buy it now all within the same month so it's bizarre because now you have two that sold for $164 and you have one that sold for $325. So now what do you say to yourself? You say to yourself, okay, do I just put them on, on eBay and let them sit and see if anybody grabs them for that price? Or do I just bring them here and say to you guys, okay, best price on these I saw was $164. These are Tiffany. And I will do them for uh, 125. How does that sound? They are signed T and Co. Oh yeah, they're real. They're marked right there on the thing. They're called um, puffy huggers or puffy huggies or something like that. Uh, they came with this little envelope. It is a little bit dirty right there. I wouldn't use it in the photos. But these were all the Tiffany was authenticated before I purchased. And they are post earrings. And I don't have a box. They're about just about three, in between three quarters of an inch and an inch. And it's T and company right here. This new phone, I hate it. But it's right there on the end. So they're available until they're not. If anybody's interested. And I have this Tiffany bracelet. Which was really hard to research. Because apparently 
And if anybody knows Tiffany, please feel free to jump in. Um, let me give this a quick test. All right, see now this one I don't like. Let me, I didn't look at this one closely. Give me a second. Now this one's fake. This one is, that's why I couldn't find it. This one's fake. So that goes back. These are beautiful. Two different dealers. And then I have the mesh necklace, which is 325. Tiffany signed right there. Nice and clear and detailed. And that is 16 inches. For 325 on the Tiffany. Got this for somebody on Facebook, but I didn't reach out to her yet. Okay, so that no, that no, that no, that no. Now I think um I saw these on Silpata. But I don't see a mark. And guys, there is no way I'm going through this to try and find a mark. It's just not going to happen. So um, I did see very similar ones on Silpata. As Silpata. These are everything you could ever need to build your collection. Gorgeous. They sit beautiful. They're sterling silver. They are seven. I'm sorry. Yeah, seven and three quarter inch. And God almighty, over 89 grams. I have to do these at 120, $120. 89 grams, sterling silver, no marks that I am aware of. Like I said, I cannot go through each and every one of these. If they were so potter, wouldn't they have a little hang tag? But that's they're beautiful. They're over 89 grams. Gorgeous bracelets. And I have this little. Huh? See now, this is just weird. Talk about weird. Thanks, Lexi. <laughs> This guy's eye, what is going on? He doesn't have another eye. That is just weird. That is just weird. I'm sorry. What is going on here? Um, I'll put them up. I'll put them up. If anybody likes the Cyclops, the Cyclops turtle. I will do him. Yeah. It's it's turned, but still, it's a pendant as well. If it's a pendant, I'm sorry. I don't care. That is a poor that is a poor design. Nope. I'm not buying it, ladies. I'm not buying it. Nope. His neck should be sticking out then. He's weird. Uh, $28 starting bid. Cyclops. Yeah, for all you people that think his head's turned, that's a great deal. He's not cleaned. He will polish up beautifully. He's got to walk in a circle because he's only got one eye. He doesn't go anywhere. Goes around and around and around. 
and around. I wonder, they can't go around. Their, their legs are too short. Oh, baby bear. Baby bear is the rescued squad. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. And sold to baby bear for $28. You better mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank her. Thank her. Janda Panda. <laughs> you love him. <laughs> You're so funny. $28. Thank you, my dear. All right. Well, I have to save some stuff for tomorrow. If there was anything that you saw, I mean, there's this, but I'm really struggling. Can I have those red earrings in the corner if they're not? <laughs> These are dangles. You don't like dangles. These are dingle dangles. You don't want the dangles. I thought you didn't do dangles. <laughs> yeah. I still don't see it. I still don't see it. Do you want these? Because they're um, sponge coral, sterling silver, but they're dangles. That's why I didn't show them to you. Hey, Barb. Barb O'Donnell, talk to your jewelry friend. Two inches. Okay. Um, these I'll do for um, $22. So, Barb, this thing goes all the way up to diamond. I test it like five times, and it goes up to diamond every time. What's going on? You got it, sweetheart. Get ready to call these down. Looking for $23 if anybody's interested. No, no, it's going up to Diamond. It's passing right by. It drove right by the Amethyst Station and went straight on to Diamond. Thank you, Linda. No, it's not in the sapphire. It's straight into diamond. I'm just thinking it might be a stone that has the same um, temperature of maybe a moissanite because it's not going to be this. I don't know. I'm talking out of my behind right now because I'm just making stuff up. Thank you, Linda. But it all has to do with temperature. I think it is temperature or yeah, I think it's temperature. Okay, so recap uh, the Boyd, gay or J? I think it's gay. Got that. The David German bangle. The um, David Anderson bracelet. Let's check this out. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It just went right on by. I thought it was going to hit Amethyst too. Okay, this is... $9.50. And 14 or 18 carat. Barbara, I don't know what to do about this. I'm dying because I had this a very long time. So I had, this is what you're talking about. Um, so I took it to the jeweler and he said these little doors are 14 karat. The rest of it's gold filled. So I reached out to Sunday and she's too busy today to get an idea of what she would price it at. 
So that's how it all opens. I'm sure if you got in under here, you'd be able to get some marks, but I wasn't about to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say be best guess is this is 14 carat. I tested it and tested it and tested it and tested it. No, no, I don't care. I tested it and tested it. Um, it's absolutely stunning. And with the veil, oh, I also have some uh, gold filled chains, if anybody's interested in that. One and a half inch with the veil by about almost three quarters of an inch. I just want to be thorough. When it comes to something I'm not aware of or not, I don't know or have knowledge. But um, as far as the price, I think I will do this. Um, It's here. It is available. I'm just, I can't remember how much I paid for it. So I'm trying to be um, fair without killing myself. Oh, look at this. No, it is gold filled except for the two doors. This is 14 carat and this is 14 carat, but I don't know how deep it goes. But I'm going to get an estimate on it because that's the only thing I can do. I do have a, let me show you what I have. I have gold filled. I got a beautiful watch fob that I um, I scavengered out of the um, the what you call it, and then I have a couple of gold filled chains. If anybody needs those, they are on. They are in the inventory. One, two. And then I have this fob. If anybody's interested, I can definitely put that up. That's gold filled. Okay. So look. Look at these happy little elephants on this bracelet. Okay. That's how you get it off. Um, I'll do the fob at um, fifty dollars. Fifty for the fob. Now this one doesn't have any marks or signatures on it, but it doesn't need to because it's got these beautiful. I'm just gonna test it real fast because I didn't like the fact that that thing didn't test properly. Okay. We're going into the heavier stuff. So this is where I'm going to be a little bit more. My prices are going to start to go up a little bit because I don't know what else to do. All right, let me get a size. This is a size seven. I don't see any indicating marks. If you guys know the bracelet. Never saw anything with... Um, I know she was. <laughs> That's who they were for. But uh, something else got in the way. Um, I'll do this for $48 starting bid with the two little elephants on the end. They don't have any stones in their eyes or anything like that. And it's just a nice chain. 
And yeah, I gotta save some stuff for tomorrow. 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 So why don't we just call it unless you want to see any of these little rings? Thousand dollars. Just kidding. Okay, we will finish up tomorrow. Um, I'll bring some costume jewelry as well. I don't know what I'll have left in the Tiffany or this one. I have to reach out to a couple of people and the Yerman. So if you're interested in those, definitely reach out to me. I'm going to put these in the tray. Tray. Tray and tray. Um, tray and tray. Okay, this is where I'm nice and neat for tomorrow. So, um, guys, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, a.m. If you are available, come by and hang out with us. It's only going to be a short, maybe two hours. I have to cook for my son. Um, it'll be a nice casual day, a couple hours. And if you drink enough, you can sleep for the rest of the day. Bloody Mary's. All right, guys, I do adore you all. Thank you so much for joining. Have a very happy Easter, baby bear. Enjoy your family. Have a great one. And each and every one of you, happy Easter. And thank you so much again. Ciao for now. Mwah. Bye, guys.